Hi, I'm Johannes Meyer. I work for Overducon as a trainer and a consultant, and I'm going to talk about AODD pump, that is also called an air-operated diaphragm pump. Here in my hands, I have an AODD pump. This is a cutaway, and we can look inside what kind of parts we all have. And we see inside there is a chamber uh, with a lot of little parts and we can see on the outside we have the diaphragm and we also have an uh, inlet piping and discharge piping but how does it all work let's take a look at the animation here we have the animation and on this animation we see all the different parts we see the pump house which is containing uh, all the liquids and it is closed with diaphragms we can see the diaphragms which is in the black and it's connected to a piston that moves from left to right and keeps moving up and down like this and with that we also see that the chamber the left chamber and the right chamber are each time changing volume and while we are looking at that we also see that when it's changing volume that the balls that we have on the upper part and the balls that we have on the lower part are also moving its position it go it's going from open to closed and 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 then from closed back to open and so on now what does that do let's take a close look at the left chamber when when my piston moves from left to right so if i open up the chamber when the chamber becomes bigger then i'm pulling on the check valve from the top so the top valve is closed and i'm pulling the ball from the bottom up and with that the liquid is streaming in the chamber and i fill the chamber completely the moment it is full so when i when the piston is totally to the right then the piston moves back to the left and then it reduces the volume and by that it's pushing the lower check valve to the bottom and then it is closed and it's at the same time it's opening the check valve on the top and it's open and then of course because it is open it moves the liquid to the top to the outlet now, and it keeps going in the opposite side exactly the same way, only with the difference that once the left chamber is closed, the right chamber is open, so full. Yeah, one is empty, the other one is full, and it keeps going from left to right in this way. Now, also we can see that there is a moment, a split second, that the uh, piston in the middle is center and if it is in the center that is a moment of no flow and that is a pulse so this is a, a, a pulsating pump and it is a positive displacement pump so now you have seen what a pump looks like and you know how the pump works let's take a look and see what we can do with this pump where it is being used for first this pump is very flexible in location why is that because it's an air operated pump I can take it with an air supply nearly everywhere where you know I have air so I don't need to route electrical lines or I don't have to work with an electrical extension cord which is very often not allowed in the industry Air is okay, but electric you have to be very careful with when you move equipment from one place to the other. It's because of safety with the pump. So this is a very flexible pump in location. But how about the fluids? What can, what can we pump with it? Well, this pump, we can pump all kinds of materials. We can sludge, waste, abrasive materials, yeah? High viscosity, not so, because, you know, it's like um, the diaphragm must also pull it in. Yeah, and it will be then very slow. 
So for the liquids, when we look at sludges, it's like what you see, you know, a muddy pool. And uh, if you need a drain uh, pu uh, a puddle, you know, if you need to pump that up in a wastewater treatment plant or in the mining, if you have rain water and you want to pump it out, you just put the pump in. You can even put the pump completely in the water. Don't worry about it because it's just pumping and the air is keeping going. Um, so it is a pump that you can use nearly everywhere in just uh, transfer situations, but also in emergency situations because it is so flexible to use. So now you know what the pump looks like, how it works, where, where you can use it for. And if you have any question remaining, please leave a comment and don't forget, like, subscribe, and we're gonna see you soon again.